x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. This is the quadratic formula. We must first complete the square. To do this, we need to have a coefficient of 1 in front of x squared. So we divide both sides by a. We simplify. The a's cancel out. Subtract c over a from both sides. We need to make room for completing the square. First step, take the coefficient in front of x, divide it by 2, and square it. We get b squared over 4a squared, which must be added to the left and right hand side. Now we must factor the left hand side. It's not an easy expression to factor. There's a shortcut, however. If we use step 2 from completing the square, that expression is what should go in the factor for the question mark. b over 2a. Now we must subtract the fractions on the right hand side of the equation. The common denominator is 4a squared. The first fraction already having that denominator, we don't need to do anything with it. For the second fraction, the c over a, we must multiply 4a to the top and bottom and simplify. Going back to our previous steps, we put the simplified version into our equation. And now to solve for x, we need to take the square root of both sides. This will cancel out the power of 2 on the left-hand side of the equation, leaving us with x plus b over 2a. We apply the square root to the top and bottom of the fraction, and it looks like we forgot to include something, plus or minus. You must always do this when you take the square root of both sides of an equation. Now we must solve for x, and this is going to happen pretty fast, so hold on to your seats. Subtract b over 2a from both sides, while at the same time uh, simplifying uh, square root of 4a squared, that becomes 2a. We have common denominators. We combine those two fractions together, and there you have the quadratic formula. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you. This is the quadratic formula.